Hello friends, this video on mineral nutrition part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now we will look at the subclassification of mineral elements. Now there is another classification based on the quantitative requirement by a plant that is how much of a particular mineral element is required by a plant whether it is required in very large quantities or it is required in small quantities based on that the mineral elements are of two types macronutrients and micronutrients now the name itself suggests macro means big and micro means small so the elements which are required in large quantities, they are called macronutrients and those which are required in small quantities are micronutrients. So now we will discuss about macronutrients and micronutrients in detail. So let us see what are each of these and what characterizes micro and macronutrients. So let us start with macronutrients. As I said, they are required by plants in large amounts. So when I say they are required in large amounts, that means the plants absorb a lot of them from the soil. Now when the plant absorb a lot of them, that means that these type of nutrients are found in plant tissues in large amounts. Because when the plant is absorbing it in large amounts, so obviously inside the plant tissues also it is found in large amounts. Right? So they are again of two types primary nutrient and secondary nutrient. So the macronutrient itself is again of two types. One is primary macronutrient and the second is secondary macronutrient. So what is a primary nutrient? These are the nutrients which are primarily used by a plant for their growth and survival. So what do you mean by primarily being used? So primarily means the first thing that the plant needs is the primary nutrient. For example, nitrogen, phosphorus, uh, potassium, these are some of the examples of primary macronutrient. So, so since the plants, the plant at the first itself, they start absorbing these nutrients from the soil. So the soil start missing these nutrients first. So these nutrients are first lacking in the soil. You do not find these nutrients in abundance in the soil because whatever nitrogen, phosphorus or potassium is there in the soil that will be quickly absorbed by the plant in the beginning itself. So in the primary stages of a plant's life, it will absorb these nutrients from the soil. Therefore, the soil is deficit of these minerals. But when you talk about secondary nutrient, Okay, so here you can see nitrogen, phosphorus and sulfur. I mean, I'm sure all of you have heard of all these things. So here is nitrogen, here is phosphorus and where is your potassium? This is your potassium. So these three are examples of primary nutrient. Let us talk about secondary nutrient. These are found in soil in quite abundance because not that much is absorbed by the plant at the first go. Now, if this is also a macronutrient, so this is also required in large amounts, but primary nutrient is like in the initial stages itself, all of it will be absorbed from the soil. But for secondary nutrient, it will be gradually absorbed from the soil and at any point of time, you can find a lot of these nutrients in the soil also. But for primary nutrients, you will never see a lot of them in the soil. Whenever there is some nitrogen in the soil, it will be quickly absorbed by the plant. So examples of uh, secondary nutrients are calcium, here you can see calcium, magnesium and sulfur. So where is sulfur? Here it is, sulfur. So these are examples of secondary nutrient. Now please note that all of these nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium, calcium, magnesium, sulfur, all of these are examples of macronutrients because all of them are required in large quantities. The only difference is that in primary nutrient, the plant absorb all of it at the first go and that is why the soil mostly has a deficiency of these nutrients. Therefore, external fertilization is also needed to enrich the soil with these primary nutrients. Whereas in case of secondary nutrients, the plant need them in large quantities, but they do not absorb them just in one go. Primarily, they are not absorbed. So the soil has sufficient amount of them present. So not much of fertilization is required when compared to the primary nutrient. 
So now let us talk about the micronutrients. That is the nutrients which are required by plants in small amounts. Micro means small, less amounts. These are also known as trace elements. Trace means we often say no, these, these are found in traces. Traces means in very small amounts. So you just find traces of these. So a bit of it. So examples would be iron, manganese, copper, molybdenum, zinc, boron, chlorine, nickel. These are all examples of micronutrients. Now all these nutrients like they do not take part in the primary activities of, in, of the plant. However, they support the plant in many small small activities which is like a good to have feature for the plant. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.